Now, I'd like to announce this year's National Communicator of Achievement Award. And it's a historic occasion. For the, for the first time in 60 years that this award has been given, the winner is a man, Randy Richardson of Illinois. So apparently this is what you get when you don't stand up to formally introduce yourself as a first timer. <laughs> um, yeah, this was uh, not really expected and I, um, I uh, didn't really prepare a speech for this because I didn't expect it. Um, um, first of all, uh, thank you um, to the uh, National Feder Parade, Federation of Press Women um, for this uh, great honor. Um, like I said, I didn't expect this at all. Um, people who know me um, know that I tend to shy away from the spotlight. Um, I uh, prefer to work in the background, um, so being up on a stage like this is not something that I'm super comfortable with, um, but it doesn't feel too bad today. <laughs> um, you know, I, I wouldn't be standing here today if it weren't for a lot of people uh, that have supported me and, and encouraged me throughout the years. Um, and uh, I'm not gonna name them by name because it'd be too long of a list and it would take up too much time. But uh, yeah, my family has uh, really uh, supported me along and uh, allowed me to do all the things that I've done. Um, and uh, there have been a lot of people uh, along the way that have uh, uh, encouraged me and supported me along the way. Um, and that includes the Illinois Women's Press Association. Um, and uh, in particular, Becky Sarwate, uh, who, and that this organization has been one of my greatest champions. Um, a lot of the things that I've done, I couldn't have done without them. I, uh, I became a member 10 years ago when I, uh, my first book came out. Uh, and, uh, and at the same time, I was kind of lost in trying to find my way as a writer. And I didn't know how to do that. And that's when I started building my own writing community, uh, which turned into the Chicago Writers Association. And the uh, Illinois Women's Press Association has been a big part of uh, in supporting those efforts. Um, and supporting me individually as well, and uh, I'm really thankful for all the, you know, the things that they've done for me. Um, and the, I also want to thank the again the uh, National Federation of Press Women. Um, the work that you're doing is so important, uh, especially given the political climate uh, that we are operating under now. Um, we really need organizations like this uh, to uh, really fight for uh, freedom of the press. Um, and uh, so the work that you do is so important and it, it's really an incredible honor um, to be standing here as your 2017 COA and unbelievably the first man <laughs> to stand here. <laughs> um, I think we've all come a long way. <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate it.